What's going on guys? It's your man Dennis hey, back with another YouTube video. Man, they decided to mow the lawn just when I decided to record this video, that's crazy. But I'm back. It's been a while. Two months, three months? Damn, that's tough. But I've been gone because, you know, I've been trying to get my life together. I've been trying to do a lot of things at the same time. And a couple of things have changed in my life. One of those changes being that I got a new car. You know, this is a 2013 Honda Civic LX. First car at 21 years old. I mean, I'm excited, I'm lit, man. Like, you know, I've been meaning to get a car for a very long time. Um, and I've been saying it for a while, but I just never did up until now. You know, yeah, some people get their first cars at like 17, 18, whatever. I'm a little late, but hey, it is what it is. Everybody has their own timing, but this is it, y'all. You know? I think it's pretty nice. You feel me? I think it's very nice, actually. What the heck? Yo, I'm really messing with a white. It's clean. It's simple. It gets me from point A to point B, and it's reliable. Considering that this is my first car, I didn't really want to do too much. Of course, there's some young people out there around my age or a little bit younger who have scat packs or chargers or 2020 cars and all that. And not saying that those cars aren't cool and fast and lit. Yeah, they are, but... You know, I was thinking about um, the ROI that it would give me, the return on investment. Would it really be worth it to pay like $40,000 for a scat pack? Actually, I probably couldn't even pay $40,000. I would end up financing it. And then my monthly payments would be like $600, $700, $800 a month. Plus insurance, which would be another $600, $700. And then repairs, since it's like a new car and it's like a sports car. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. I didn't want to do that. It just seems very tragic to me. Rest in peace to people who actually did that. Um, but I'm not, I'm not here telling anybody how to live. People can live how they want to live. If you feel like you can afford that and that's what you really want, go ahead. But me, I wanted something more affordable. I wanted something hella reliable that I could keep for years and it would still have decent resale value and what's a better choice than a Honda Civic, bro? Everybody wants these joints. I, I didn't get this from a dealership. If y'all asking why, it's because the way the market is right now. The market is very bad right now. Car prices, especially used car prices are really up there. Like they're higher than usual. And the reason for that being is that, you know, there's a shortage of cars, shortage of chips. Like things are looking bad right now. So I didn't want to go to the dealership and buy a car like this because it was going for, I think like, fourteen fifteen thousand dollars for this car and that's low-key a lot you know so i ended up getting this from a private seller luckily for me i got it from a very nice young asian lady she was the only owner of the car she took well care of it um they only had fifty eight thousand miles you know and like everything was clean like even the interior i'm about to show y'all even the interior as y'all can see like very clean like she didn't i didn't see no stains like nothing nothing like she took very well care of this car so i ended up getting the car from her um i got it for around twelve thousand dollars um which isn't bad you know i do wish that i got it for eleven ten thousand dollars um but like i remember the seller like she was saying that um a dealership was already offering her about twelve thousand dollars and unless we were willing to match that she couldn't really lower the price any further you know what i'm saying and on Kelly Blue Book, they said this car was worth around 13,000, 14,000, considering the mileage and just like the overall condition of the car. So we were just under Kelly Blue Book value. So it wasn't too bad of a deal, to be honest. So, you know, after some discussion, cause I went to go check out the car with my dad, um, we were like, you know what, let's take it. 
you know let's take it because like out of all the cars that we went to go check out at dealerships and like other private sellers and all that like this seemed like the best one i'm not even gonna lie it seemed the cleanest it seemed the well, most well taken care of so you know we decided to take it and i don't think it was a bad decision to be honest i do not regret it i am financing this car but my monthly payments are not that bad i would say the car payment itself is just under 200 dollars, and then the insurance is uh just under 200 dollars as well a little bit less than the car payment and i feel like that's all right that's doable um for a 36 month loan um which i could easily pay off within like a year or so but i'm really just doing this so i can like you know build my credit you know what i'm saying show them i got the history so yeah um i don't regret it i think this was a good purchase it's a good car it's probably not gonna give me any problems a few things that i'm probably gonna do um eventually is i'm probably gonna change like these like um hubcaps or rims or whatever they call them because like these stock ones they're okay and all but i seen these other ones that look way better that i'm going to switch them to eventually and i think i'm also going to put like some seat covers in here because like this material right here if i were to spill something on the seat like it would be very hard to like remove so i'm gonna definitely put a seat cover on there like a black one and then maybe like a cover right here yeah i'm gonna I'm do some like a little bit of decoration um but other than that yeah yo this is the whip you feel me the whip let's see how many women i can pick up in this car you know <laughs> so, oh, so i know i'm playing or maybe i'm not but anyways um yeah i just wanted to share this experience with you guys and I hope you enjoy this quick video. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, that's all I got for y'all. Danny again signing out.